encryption possibilities. Again, as I mentioned, this can be secure because you depend on Tableau for this. So there are multiple authentication possibilities with Tableau. This is a list of them. If you're using Tableau online, then the, some of them might not be possible for you, but that's, uh, that's of course, is trade-off with Tableau online. Um, but otherwise, you can have SAML with Tableau online or with Tableau server. So with SAML, you can connect to any entity you want, or you can use OpenID Connect for Google ID and expect Salesforce as well. That's going to be integrated there as well. So you can have automatic connectivity, like not right now, but it, I think it'll come in the future, of course, because Salesforce is, has purchased Tableau. Um, so all these are different options that you get. But specific to embedded, there are some things that, there are some options that I guess are more interesting. So one of them is simulate single sign-on with trusted authentication. And trusted authentication is a weak form of security. I would not recommend it, uh, but for embedded use cases, if you set up the right firewalls, if you set up the right access credentials, if you set up like a good, um, well, a DMZ for your environment, then I think it's a good option. What happens with trusted authentication is that you trust, you tell your Tableau server, trust the server, trust any requests that is coming from this IP. So you can give Tableau server a certain IP address and it will trust any request coming from this IP address, which means that if you have your web server and from your web server, you have a certain username and you say username praveen.sam is trying to log into the Tableau server, your Tableau server is gonna trust that uh, web server and it's gonna give me access even though I do not provide a password. So that is a possibility with Tableau, with Tableau server specifically. And it's possible to simulate that, but then you have to set the web server IP in, in on your Tableau server. Of course, there is a risk that if that web server gets hacked, then you have, uh, it's not good. Uh, but this is one way that you can simulate single sign-on because users then just need to log into your web portal with whatever web technology that you might have, whatever login, credentials you might have, and they're automatically logged into your Tableau server because you're sending the request as this user, impersonating user, kind of. Uh, of course, you can go crazy there as well. You can go fancy there. You can have Terabloss. Oh, okay. Okay, sorry for that. Uh, you can have Terabloss or any number of SAML entities uh, to sign in people automatically to your portal or to your Tableau server. So those are options as well. And finally, if you notice, in my many examples here uh, that I was doing, I never logged in. Like I'm using this in Chrome, but I've not logged into the server in Chrome. I've logged into the server in Firefox. Uh, but in Chrome, this thing is actually, I'm not logged into the server. And that is because this specific dashboard, I have a guest user access that. Let me open that quickly uh, to show you. So if I'm in here, I'm just gonna go to that server embedding the history and once i'm in there go to the dashboard and for this specific dashboard I have permissions on the guest user so we have what is called a guest user and this guest user are given access to view the dashboard to download data and stuff so that's specific to this dashboard that i've provided this and this is possible if you have a core license so with your core license uh, you get the option to add a guest user. So that is what I'm doing here, right? So with the guest user, then you do not have to worry about authentication because with a guest user, anyone who goes to the URL can basically log in. So that's essentially what's happening with public.tableau. You can just have anyone going to that dashboard. And that is what Boeing is doing here. So with Boeing's dashboard, this is actually on public.tableau, actually. They do not have their own server for this dashboard. For this dashboard, they're actually hosting it on, pub, on Tableau Public and it's coming into their website. Uh, oops, this is loading right now, Let me refresh it. Uh, but that's essentially what they're doing with the dashboard. All right, and um, so that's another option that you could just host your things on Tableau Public if it's something you wanna share with the whole world, that's an option here as well. Uh, then, you can, of course, set up your own server with a guest account as well. But one thing that I would like to note here, see the dashboard is back, is if you're, host, if you're push publishing a dashboard from Tableau Public, you will always have this toolbar. So this toolbar always comes from any dashboard, which is in Tableau Public. However, if you look at this dashboard here, the DPD, 
you have no toolbar and even the dashboard that I'm embedding currently, I do not have any toolbar that says Tableau. So it's completely white labeled as far as the web server is concerned. And I could even change the URL for this web server so it would not say Tableau. So you can completely clear Tableau branding, but that's only possible if you're not using Pab Tableau Public and your own server. Great, that we have covered some authentication options. There are a lot of options here, but you can always use what you're used to currently, what you're using with your Tableau server. You can, of course, continue using that.